Uh, this program, we're interested in developing tests that predict which patients with cancer benefit from which specific therapies. The, the objective is to try to improve cancer treatment. So we, we realise um, from managing cancer patients that not everybody benefits from our current treatment because one of the big issues with treating cancer patients is we tend to treat everybody much the same and yet we know that only a proportion of them will actually benefit from treatment. So if we're able to identify those patients that benefit from therapies, we can offer the correct treatment up front and hopefully spare other patients the toxicities from treatments that do not work. An assay is, is a test which you would apply to a biopsy taken from a patient in order to inform you the best form of treatment that should, should be given for a cancer. We have the first one which predicts the benefits from chemotherapy and colon cancer. It's being commercialised in the US and will be rolled out through Europe later through next year. And the second test is a test that predicts benefits from chemotherapy and breast cancer. It again will be commercialised in the US next year with the idea that it will be rolled out in Europe through 2014 as well. Well, in the case of the colon assay, we're probably looking at about half a million people who would benefit from this kind of assay between the US and Europe, and probably similar numbers for breast cancer. We're in a very fortunate situation in Northern Ireland in that we have the Cancer Research Centre on the same site as the Cancer Treatment Centre, and not many universities actually have that arrangement. So it means that we're able to treat patients in the clinic, we're able to collect material, take it over to the labs, analyse it, and from that learn what the most appropriate treatments should be and then take that forward back into the clinic again in clinical trials. So we're able to create a loop of research, and this is what we find is very effective. We're probably getting quicker. So the, the first assay we did, which was the colon test, has taken probably almost 10 years. The most recent assay, the breast cancer assay, has taken nearer four years. So we think we're learning each time, becoming faster and faster. We do have a, a pipeline of tests coming through as well behind these two assays, and each of them probably is going to take about three years from conception through to application in the clinic. Almac itself, Almac Diagnostics, was a spin-out company from Queen's University, so there's very strong ties between Almac and Queen's University. Also, Almac, Queen's University and Invest Northern Ireland co-fund the current programme, which is involved in developing these forms of assays. So it's an active collaboration between industry and the university.